Simple Machines by DJ Ward, illustrated by Mike Lowry. Special thanks to Dr. Babatunde A. Agunaiki, William L. Friend, Chaired Professor of Chemical Engineering and Dean, College of Engineering, at the University of Delaware for his valuable assistance. To Ian, our first machine expert, DJW. Hey, that's my name. Doctor, uh, to Katrin and Alistair, our two most favorite humans, ML. Have you ever had to move something really heavy? How did you do it? Did you grab it from underneath and lift with all your might? Oh, don't do that, you might hurt your back. Did you lean your shoulder into it and push? <clears throat> did you tie a rope to it and pull, pull, pull? Or did you use a machine? With a machine, you don't have to lift or push or pull so hard. Machines make work easier. Here, try this. Thanks, Dad. That's why machines are everywhere. Look around your neighborhood. We use machines to help us get around. Machines help us dig and build and knock things down. They help us reach way up high. Cars, bulldozers, and lawnmowers are machines with lots of moving parts. But not all machines are so complicated. Some are so simple that you might not even think of them as machines. They are called simple machines. Six simple machines. Lever, wheel and axle, pulley, ramp, wedge, screw. Think about a seesaw. You sit on one end of a long board. Your friend sits on the other side. The board rests on something in the middle that lets each end tip up and down. By pushing down on your end of the board, you can make your friend go up. Have you ever tried to lift your friend without using a seesaw? It's hard, isn't it? The seesaw makes lifting your friend easier. It's a simple machine. Lever. The seesaw is a simple machine called a lever. All levers have two parts. The first part is a board or rod that won't bend or break easily. Two, the other part is something that will let the lever turn or tip. This is called the fulcrum. When you push down on one end of a seesaw, the other end goes up. When your end lifts up, the other side goes down. Making your friend go up is easy because you both are about the same weight. But imagine instead if your mom or dad were on the other side. They weigh much more than you do. It would be very hard to make them go up. You might get stuck high off the ground. But if we change the seesaw, you can lift them. Move the fulcrum closer to your mom or dad so there is more of the board on your side. Push down on the long side. The closer the fulcrum is to your mom or dad, the easier they will be to lift. If you have a long enough lever, you could even lift an elephant. Crack. Fulcrum. Rod. Levers are not only good at making us stronger, they can also help us make things go faster. Pick up a stick and wave it back and forth in the air. Can you see that the end of the stick moves very fast? You are using the stick as a lever and your wrist as the fulcrum. You move your wrist a little and the end of the stick moves a lot. A baseball bats work this way. With a twist of your wrist, you make the end of the bat move really fast. Hit the ball with a fast moving bat and the ball goes fast too. A lever is one kind of simple machine. 
but there are more. Wheel and axle. For instance, a doorknob is a simple machine called a wheel and axle. A wheel and axle is a wheel with a rod sticking out to the middle. Wheel, axle. When you turn the wheel, the rod turns too. The wheel is there to make the rod easier to turn. A steering wheel is another wheel and axle. The steering wheel is connected to a rod. When you turn the steering wheel, it turns the rod. The rod steers your front wheels where you want them to go. But what if your car didn't have a steering wheel? What if you had to steer by grabbing the rod and trying to twist it? It wouldn't be easy, that's for sure. Pulley. What would you do if you had to lift something way up high, even higher than you could reach? You might use a simple machine called a pulley. A pulley is a wheel with a groove in it. A rope goes over the pulley. The groove keeps the rope from falling off the wheel. As you pull the rope down on one side, the rope goes up on the other side. Have you ever seen someone raise a flag on a flagpole? There is a pulley at the top of the pole. The flag is attached to a rope that hangs over the pulley. When the person pulls down on one side of the rope, the flag is pulled up the other side. That is easier than climbing up the pole. Used in groups, pulleys can help you lift things much heavier than flags. The more pulleys you use, the easier it is to lift something. With enough pulleys, you could lift a rhinoceros. Groups of pulleys lift you when you ride in an elevator. Ramp. Ladders can be fun to climb, but what if you had to use one anytime you wanted to go up or down? You would get tired from climbing ladders all day. Instead, we use stairs, which make going up and down easier. Stairs are a kind of simple machine called a ramp or an inclined plane. As you go up a ramp, you are not just going up, you are also going forward at the same time. That takes much less energy than going straight up. The lower the angle of the ramp, the easier it is to climb. The pyramids in Egypt were built thousands of years ago. They were made by stacking many large blocks of stone one on top of one upon another. Back then, there were no cranes for lifting such heavy things. Guess how Egyptians got heavy stone blocks up so high? They used ramps. Imagine a tall, round birthday cake. Then imagine you get a big slice of the cake. Yum! Lying on your plate, it looks like a ramp, doesn't it? Now imagine you flip the piece of cake over. It still looks like a ramp. That's because it has a ramp on both sides. Wedge. An object with a ramp on both sides is another kind of simple machine called a wedge. Simple machine wedges are made of hard materials though, not cake. An axe head is a wedge. Have you ever seen anyone chop a log with an axe? When the person swings the axe head down onto the log, the metal wedge pushes apart the wood. It splits the log. Wedges help us split things or push things apart. Screw. Did you ever look closely at a screw? Through a magnifying glass, a screw looks like a tiny ramp, except the ramp twists around as it goes up. Believe it or not, a screw is a simple machine. It's a ramp with a twist. Not all screws are so tiny. As you walk up a spiral staircase, you walk up and go around at the same time. Some parking garages have driveways that spiral up to higher levels. These are big examples of screws. Sometimes, to get a job done, it's best to work as a team. When a team of simple machines work together, they become a compound machine. 
Compound machines can do a job even more easily than one simple machine can. In fact, most machines you see each day are compound machines. They can be as simple as a pair of scissors or as complex as a car. You might not be building a pyramid. You might not want to lift an elephant. Even so, simple machines are good to have around. You might want to open your door, turn the wheel and axle. You might ride your bike down the street, just pedal those levers. Or you might want to help your family do some work around the house. That's great. You could use a simple machine for that. Simple machines make work easier, after all. Spot more simple machines. Lever, a boat oar, a soda can lid, wheel and axle, a wagon wheel, a screwdriver, pulley, blinds, a well, Know that a lot of you have wells at home, but maybe you do. Ramp, a mountain road, a truck ramp, wedge, a knife, a boat's bow, pushes through the water, splitting that water apart. Screw, a car jack, a jar lid. You twist it to unscrew it. You can read the glossary on your own or, oh well, I guess I'll just do it. It's a quick little review. Angle, the amount of steepness of a line or ramp. Compound machine, two or more simple machines working together. Fulcrum, the point or object that a lever tips on or turns around. Inclined plane, a flat surface that is tipped up at an angle, also known as a ramp. Lever, a rod or board that can pivot back and forth or go or up and down. Pulley, a grooved wheel that can spin freely on its axle. A rope or cable goes in the groove. Ramp, a flat surface that is tipped up at an angle, also known as an inclined plane. Screw, a spiral shaped ramp. Simple machine a basic device that allows you to do work more easily than you could without the device. Wedge, two ramps connected in a V-shape to make a V-shape. Wheel and axle, a wheel attached to a rod, an axle, so that these two parts turn together. Ooh, if you buy this book, via the link in the video description. Looks like they've got a little experiment that you can do here and some websites to learn more about simple machines. But that was Simple Machines by DJ Ward, illustrated by Mike Lowry. And this is EDU Kidspace. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons and if there's something in particular you'd like to learn us about, learn about, leave us a message in the comments or send us a message on the channel.